Hey folks, Crazy Clamorady here again. And this time we're going to look at game number 12 in R20 from 1987 series. And this is the first in a long series of successful horizontally scrolling shoot 'em ups by Taito. And this is called Darius. And this was notable for a number of things. One, it had fantastic graphics, but also it is three monitors wide. <laughs> Pretty unusual for its time. And there's the standard stand up. Uh, cabinet and the sit down cabinet but this was beautiful for its time wonderful graphics some good music uh, you can play one player sim one player solo play or you can play two players simultaneous play player one I believe is known as Proko and player two is known as Tiat Proko is a guy Tiat is a woman but um, you have a fire button and you have a bomb button this, uh, like I said, beautiful, beautiful graphics. Uh, one thing that you'll definitely notice is the extreme difficulty. Um, something else you'll notice, and this is uh, part of the reason why it's so difficult, your uh, weapon power-up system, and the computer wasn't very good in the demo there, uh, your power-up system, you have missiles, and your missiles are actually your lasers. I don't know why they call them missiles. But you also have bombs, and you press the second button to fire your bombs. And you have armor, and it's just called arm. But um, you can collect these colored orbs, um, red, green, and blue. There are other colored orbs you can collect, but those three will bump up your meter for your missile, bomb, or arm. And you can have up to seven full digits. And you see at the top left, there's your missile, bomb, and arm. And if you fill them all the way up with seven, then you will be able to change it, change its uh, strength considerably. But if you die before you can do that, you get a start all over on that uh, particular uh, power, which really sucks. But once you do uh, bump it up all the way, that is that will be your default going forward. If you die, you get to keep that, but you have to start at the beginning power of it. And you'll see some of the uh, some of the orbs that you collect to increase your uh, your meter. Uh, they are not red or green or blue. Those other ones, there are silver ones, and they just give you bonus points. And then there are um, uh, orange ones, and they act as a smart bomb. And see, I've got a shield. And that's because I collected a blue orb. Now the orbs can be uh, uh, uncovered by destroying certain enemies. Some enemies will be colored. Uh, and you will be able to get uh, special orbs from them. And they will be colored uh, correspondingly to the, uh, the power-up that you're trying to collect. See, some of them are red, some of them are blue, and some of them are green. But um, even before you completely fill up a meter with seven digits or seven uh, yellow blocks, you can still uh, get stronger, uh, stronger missiles, bombs, or or arm. But it, it becomes markedly uh, stronger once you fill up those uh, those uh, seven squares on that meter. The, uh, the shield, or arm, will uh, disappear after probably about five hits or so. But you'll still be able to collect another. Don't uh, hesitate to, to find ways to get that shield. Because <laughs> uh, you really, really need it in this hard game. And once you reach the end of a zone, 
and notice I'm in zone A, they're uh, alphabetically listed, um, you will face a boss. And many things about this game, including the bosses, are are marine themed. See, we're facing this fish, and it is called King Fossil. It's probably supposed to be a coelacanth, or coelacanth, or however you pronounce it. Um, a lot of the bosses uh, have certain patterns you can kind of detect, but. Uh, they can still be very, very hard battles. Uh, contact with anything uh, will instantly kill you if you don't have a shield. Running into the floor, the ceiling, a wall, an enemy, or their firepower. And there I beat the uh, boss. You have to, have to shoot him enough. The stronger firepower you've got the more likely you're going to end the battle sooner. Some of the bosses are easy, some of them are tough. That one was not too tough. But uh, once you've beaten the boss, you can choose to go left, or you can choose to go up or down, and you'll be forced to make a decision or you'll crash. And I elected to go to zone B. And if I went down, I would have gone to zone C. And we will look at all the different paths that you can take. What you want to do is get all the way to either Z, V, W, X, or Y. And you will get an ending from one of those. But after every single boss that you defeat, you will have to choose whether to go up or down. And note that sometimes we have very tight areas in which to maneuver. Most enemies will shoot that shoot uh, uh, bullets. You cannot uh, destroy those bullets. I'm sorry, the sound kind of went out here. I did use a, I did use a uh, um, a uh, save state right there. Sometimes the sound is kind of it kind of cuts out or something. It's not. It doesn't entirely work great in Mame, the uh, emulator. Maybe I need a uh, later version or an earlier version. <laughs> um, I did not do great in this. Uh, I managed to make it to the fourth stage, which might be better than some people can do. Uh, like I was starting to say earlier, you cannot cancel out very many enemy bullets, but there is uh, there was an enemy on this stage that I could uh, negate his shots with my shots. But for the most part, that can't happen. But again, the orbs that you collect for missile, bomb, and arm are in order red, uh, uh, green, and blue. And they, they always say a huge battleship, and then they th each boss has a name. And they say the name of the boss, and they say it is coming fast. The uh, first boss was named King Fossil, and like I said, it was like a coelacanth. And this boss is called Electric Fan. Looks like it's a, a squid or something of some sort. I can't tell all of the uh, what all the boss enemies are supposed to be, but they're all some sort of uh, underwater life. Uh, there will later be um, like a crayfish. Uh, there's another type of fish. And there's a uh, swordfish. And there's a hammerhead shark. And then there's also a sea turtle, a seahorse, an octopus. I guess they call it a cuttlefish. And then there's a, a whale. Those last handful of uh, enemies that I mentioned, those are final bosses. And you'll get an ending after you beat them. But yeah, there is a letter for each zone in the game, and uh, it is, you know, an alphabetic letter. So there are there are uh, 26 different uh, zones. Although you can still get uh, 
I think there are two extra ones. There's another Z, and there is another uh, V that you can get to at the end. But we'll look at that later. Yeah, you start out with, like, single shot, and uh, as you get more, uh, more orbs for your missile, you might be able to make it double shot. You can, yeah, you can make little, uh, little adjustments to uh, a weapon or, uh, or, or uh, shield uh, strength. You can change the strength, or you might be able to shoot an extra one at a time. With the shield, it might last a little bit longer. Now note that these are called missile, bomb, and arm, but once you fill them up, if you fill them all up, then they all change to uh, what is it? Laser twin and super. And then once you change all those, upgrade those all uh, seven times, then they become wave, multi, and hyper. But again, even if you even if you think you've bumped them all up as high as they can go, if they're still showing yellow on that meter, if you die, you start back over from scratch. That really, really sucks. <laughs> this game is just beautiful. I especially love these uh, underwater coral or uh, aquarium type of stages. I'm sorry, some of these, uh, some of the sound might get wonky or the uh, graphics might glitch a little teeny bit. This didn't really want to uh, work entirely well in MAME. Some of the games don't, but uh, I, I did the best I could. But uh, I saw this, I think, at a nickel arcade back in the day. You might have noticed that the attract mode and the title screen said 1986. This was actually released in 1987, early 1987, but still 1987. And now uh, this boss is, uh, this is still, or no, this is, uh, this is dual shearers. It looks like it's a crayfish or something, but it's called a dual shears. I really don't know my uh, <laughs> underwater life very well. Uh, some of the bosses you can shoot away a number of their legs or their pinchers, but you'll still eventually have to deal with their uh, their body or their head and destroy it enough. Some of the bosses you only need to make little movements to avoid getting hit. And some of the bosses will only move up and down a little bit, and some of them will move all the way around the screen, and you'll need to... Uh, react quicker because they'll get closer to you. Some bosses are definitely easier than others, and uh, a later boss that we'll face is among the hardest. <laughs> but again, we will split off and decide which path to go along. Now, if you play two-player simultaneous play, uh, I honestly don't know what will happen if one takes one path and another takes another path. They might be forced to take the same path and you, one will crash b because they'll be uh, forced to slam into a wall trying to go the same direction that the other player is going. I don't know for sure. Maybe if some of you know, you can, uh, you can let me know in the comments section. <laughs> I could have... Uh, I suppose tried to find out myself, but I had, I was getting tired of, of all the work I had to do on this video. I apologize. I just started losing my patience. Yeah, the music on most of these stages are, are really quite impressive. There's like one or two tracks I'm not crazy about. But yeah, now I can shoot like a, two bombs at a time, I think. Uh, your best your best uh, uh, bomb, your most powered up bomb is uh, 
it allows you to shoot four bombs at once out of uh, out of like your northwest, northeast, southwest, southeast directions. And note that my shield is silver now. That's because I turned it into a uh, what they call it super. Yeah. And now my uh, oops, I died. So it's it's back to the beginning, but it's still it's still super level, and so is my uh, so is my bomb, which is called twin. But any uh, any progress I made in in adding uh, yellow squares to its meter gets reset. Now uh, the uh, orange orbs, which is smart bomb or the silver orbs, which is bonus points, they are more likely uncovered by bombing certain walls, or maybe the ceiling or floors. And that is a hidden way that you can get uh, get those power-ups. And something that we did not see yet, on rare, rare occasions in this game, you might be able to uncover a 1-up that way. Other than, other than that, the only other way you can get a, a one up is by getting six hundred thousand points. It is adjustable in the dip switches. And now this boss I can't be. This is one of the harder bosses in the game, and it is called Fatty Glutton. There are silly names for some of these bosses, but this is a. Uh, is this a carp? I'm not sure. I don't know the... I don't know my... Uh, I don't know my fish names. <laughs> but yeah, I can't quite beat this guy. I hate that his, his projectiles come close to you and then they split up. That sucks. It's hard to avoid. But all these bosses have this weird uh, series of uh, orbs in front of them and you need to uh, shoot them all. Ah, damn it. Yeah, I can't beat that boss. You can elect to uh, continue, and you will continue right where you left off, which is nice. But I decided not to, and I'm going to put in my initials. But yeah, the only uh, one-up you can get score-wise is at 600,000 points. But if you dink around in this the uh, dip switch settings, you might be able to set it to every 600,000 other than that, you can uncover some hidden one-ups by uh, bombing at certain walls or uh, maybe certain statues or something on the ground or on the ceiling or walls or whatever. Uh, I don't know how many are in the game, but there's not very many. But I managed to get to zone I. And there it shows the uh, second player, Tiat. I'm sure the game is a lot easier playing with a one and one and two player simultaneous play. This is uh, Zone G, and the <laughs> computer died right away because they ran into a, a, a stalagmite. Um, there is how it's called laser and twin and super. Once you fill them back up, and there I've there is uh, that silver shield which we saw earlier. And we will see a little bit of uh, Laser, Twin, and Super in action coming up here. There's that laser, and it's certainly more powerful than the uh, uh, missile. I really don't w know why they called it missile. It should just... I think it should be just called laser from the beginning. Missiles, you think, more like uh, homing missiles that come off of your ship. And there I had invincibility on. And here, the last uh, forms are Wave, Multi, and Hyper. And we'll look at a little bit of that in action. The Wave is very powerful. Those, uh, those things that I tried to shoot on the first stage earlier, I couldn't bring them down. But with the Wave, they come down much easier. Or go down much easier. And the Wave can be uh, upgraded so that it's really wide. Then it's really powerful.
I put on, well, not only invincibility cheat, but uh, I think uh, when, once, you, well, once you put on invincibility cheat in Mame, you can't, uh, you can't build up more. Uh, there's the wide uh, uh, beam. Once you uh, build up. Oh, and, and now I have a, a gold shield, the best uh, shield there is, which is called a hyper. But again, once you once you build up to make a stronger, uh, there's two player playing at the same time. Once you uh, uh, build up your uh, 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 missile bomb or arm all the way up and uh, go to the next uh, the next form, yeah, it's going to be a lot stronger. Now here are the paths that you can take to get to the end. And the ending stages are Z, V, W, X, Y, and Z, and V again. But those are the those are the branches you must take to go those directions. And we'll look at the ones that I didn't get to, the zones that I didn't get to. There is C. We'll just look at snippets of them. But yeah, if you have invincibility on in MAME, you cannot build up uh, those yellow blocks, which is kind of stupid. And we'll see uh, some of the bosses that I might not have faced before. There will be repeat bosses many times. For for instance, uh, for B, no, for C, D, E, F, all those zones have dual shares at the end. And uh, Fatty Glutton will repeat several times up until Zone K, where we will first see a boss called Keen Bayonet, and he is a swordfish. But we are going to see snippets of the zones that I did not get to. Just snippets. I just love the graphics. And I especially, this is one of my favorite uh, looking stages. But I have invincibility on, so I cannot get uh, destroyed. Some of the music is is kind of strange, but uh, do not run into the uh, stalactites or the stalagmites. I like the uh, snowy look of this planet here. Some of the stages are set in outer space, and some of them are set uh, under sea. And now we have a four-way shot, and we have a wide beam. I hope you had a great uh, St. Paddy's Day. I don't know if you typically go to like an Irish bar or something, or make a... Uh, um, you, you can run into that planet, I think, which is kind of weird. Um, but I uh, don't know if you made uh, corned beef. Um, don't know if you wear green or, or whatever. I have no no uh, uh, traditions I try to stick to. But yeah, that fatty glutton is, is a, a real pain in the butt. Some of these stages have really tight quarters. I like this uh, this uh, aquarium type of uh, setting here. <laughs> but we will just we will look at the different uh, stages. I didn't show all the uh, bosses because, like I said before, a number of them repeat. But, um, and uh, I did not, I already uh, played some of these uh, stages during my initial gameplay, so uh, I didn't play them again. And there is, uh, that is uh, Keen Bayonet, a swordfish. Again, I've got invincibility on, so I can get up close. Um, here is... I think this is where you can often get a one-up in this type of area here. A lot of uh, a lot of tight quarters. If you keep bombing, you can often uh, uncover a, a one-up in those type of areas. Well, not often, but that's maybe the best place to get one. Um, the uh, Iron Hammer is a uh, is the name of a hammerhead boss. 
hammerhead shark, and we will look at that a little bit later. Uh, there, this is a, a rare uh, volcano stage. But uh, yeah, the Iron Hammer has uh, music that I'm not, not really crazy about when you face him. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like the music here. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> Most of the other uh, soundtracks were, were really good, though. Yeah, a number of the bosses, you can shoot off their their uh, their arms or, or legs or, or pinchers or whatever but you'll still need to uh, destroy their either their body or their head to uh, to put them down I like these little houses under, under in the uh, aquarium type of stage spears and statues and stuff And uh, we are getting closer to a uh, to a boss fight. And again, the boss fights will be V, W, X, Y, or Z. But we are just going to look at the remainder of the lettered zones. Now, I, I apologize that uh, it might be hard to see the screen because it's so widescreen. But that's just how the that's just how the game is. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and look at the boss zones. Z, V, W, X, Y, Z, and V. And uh, here is the first Z. But yeah, that, that chart that I showed that shows the little uh, the ways to get to the letters, that's what you want to follow if you want to go a specific direction. And here is a blue whale. This, I believe, is going to be the best ending. And the endings aren't all that fantastic, I don't think. One of one of the endings shows you uh, playing the arcade game of Darius. It's kind of funny. Now, I apologize if the uh, if the sounds are a little off. Um, if you've played the arcade game and you know when certain sounds are supposed to kick in, um, well, I, I apologize for that, but that there wasn't really much I could do. Bandicam was trying to record it the best it could, but had a little tough time with some of the uh, uh, widescreen type of games that are on like multiple monitors. Note that during the uh, credits, you can still fire and shoot. <laughs> We will see all the credits here first. Once the credits are over, then you put in your initials and your game is over. That is Darius. And for the longest time, I kept pronouncing it Darius. It is supposed to be pronounced Darius. And there are several, several games in this series. Uh, Darius... Gaiden, I think, Darius 2, uh, G Darius, which is 3D, and it is beautiful. There are a lot of great games in the Darius series. I'm probably going to go back and call it Darius after I'm done <laughs> with this video. <laughs> I just called it Darius forever, but it's supposed to be pronounced Darius. But we will look at all the endings... But yeah, it's, I, I, I like that it's quirky enough to make uh, fish or uh, undersea life bosses in this game. Plus, I like that the graphics are stunning for 1987. Yes, I said 1987, even though the game's trying to tell us it's 1986. It was actually released uh, in Japan in 1987 and the U.S. and I believe everywhere else in 1987. But uh, I'll go ahead and put in my initials. Yeah, these uh, these files. Once I started uh, taking video of them, they were getting to be pretty darn huge in space or in uh, size. 
so I, I'm definitely going to get rid of all of them once I'm done with this video because they just take up so much space on my hard drive. There's a, a sea tortoise. And again, you can shoot off a, a number of the uh, boss's legs or arms or pinchers or whatever, or tail. That's one way to to kill a, a, a sea turtle rather than having a plastic straw get stuck up their nose or <laughs> whatever. We will uh, we will not see all the the credits because we already saw the credits before, so we don't need to see them every time that we uh, get to an ending. The endings are a little, little bit different, each of them. Some of them are not really interesting endings. But again, you can shoot and bomb during the credits. But uh, we will see at least snippets of the remaining uh, lettered zones. And this is W. And again, this has a boss and this has a seahorse as a boss. And you can shoot off its uh, tail there. But again, uh, you, you'll either have to shoot a boss's head or, or body or something enough to destroy them. I don't remember the names for all of the bosses. Uh, oh no, I have a list here. There is uh, King Fossil, Electric Fan, Dual Shears, Fatty Glutton, Keen Bayonet, Iron Hammer, Great Thing, Octopus, Strong Shield, or no, Strong Shell, uh, Green Coronatus, and Cuttlefish. Some of these uh, underwater scenes have uh, frozen uh, sea floors. There's uh, the octopus there, and you can blow off its uh, tentacles. And some of the bosses are, are tougher to beat than others, and if you take too long to beat a boss, sometimes uh, extra enemies will come and uh, harass you. I, I don't think my invincible uh, ship was supposed to be there in this ending. Because you're supposed to get uh, pulled up into that uh, giant mothership there. <laughs> but again, the boss fights will be zones Z, V, W, X, Y, and then there's again Z and V. So basically, there's 28 zones, not 26, one for each letter of the alphabet. I haven't played all the Darius... Yeah, there I did it. <laughs> I don't think I've played all the Darius games. But I've played most of them, I think. Definitely, a, definitely pretty impressive for its time. Some stages will have little doors that are closed in front of you, and you'll have to destroy them to progress. Or you'll slam into them and die, unless you have invincibility on, like I do. And this is the cuttlefish. They call it a cuttlefish boss. I don't remember cuttlefish looking like that. And this is another ending, in which the one in which you're playing an arcade game there. The sit-down variety. I don't think I've seen the sit-down one. I think I've only seen the stand-up cabinet. But yeah, they are extra wide because they are three screens wide. Not very many arcade games that were that big. Certainly, uh, certainly unique for its time. It, it was not the first three-screen game. I think that might have been one called TX1, and it was a racing game. This was definitely one of the more memorable uh, three-screen games of, of the 80s. And this is the, uh, the whale called 
um, great thing, I think. But yeah, uh, Fatty Glutton is one of the tougher bosses. I'm sure there's a series of paths that you can take that make the game much easier than, than the way I took, in which you can probably avoid having to face Fatty Glutton. And here is, uh, here is another ending. I think we will have one more ending to look at, but yeah, we're going to skip the credits. Take that, credits. <laughs> um, I, I really like uh, the, the uh, aquarium, underwater aquarium type of stages, and the, uh, the uh, uh, planet surface or a uh, moon surface stages. They look, they look wonderful. Take out this uh, this underwater tortoise. And I think this one was called Strong Shell. <laughs> yeah, they make a little bit of a roar when they die. And again we're gonna skip the skip the credits. But once the credits are, are over, you get to put in your initials, and then your game will have ended. You don't start everything over again. But that was the very impressive Darius. Created by Taito in 1987. Uh, this was game number 12 in our 20 from 1987 series. And I hope to see you soon for game number 11. Y'all take it easy, everybody, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.